How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a numbered NCR form directly from within Adobe InDesign. So I have a InDesign file that I created here with a place PDF and the intention here is to create a order number right here on the form but have it be variable. In this case let's just say we're going to do a record from 1 to 500. And then we're going to print this on a NCR uh, paper, so it's going to have a uh, canary, or a, excuse me, a white and canary copy that someone can fill out. So we're going to use the data merge feature from within Adobe InDesign. But before we use the data merge, we actually have to create the data. So I'm using LibreOffice, but you can use Microsoft Excel or you can use Google Sheets. You want to create a new document, and in the header row, we're just going to call this numbers. Or num number and then I'm just going to type the number one here I'm going to go ahead and give it a um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me four leading zeros um, you don't have to do this but in this case I just like the formatting so that it has a little bit more filler so I'm gonna click OK and then I'm going to drag this out to copy this in a sequence and you want to go all the way to 501 because we have the header row is row 1 and this will go all the way here to 0500 so if I go back up to the top you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way down to 500 so this is ready to save so I'm going to go to file save as and Adobe InDesign needs to have either a text file or a uh, CSV file to use in the uh, uh, data merge. So in this case, I'm going to save it as a text CSV file. I'll hit save and I'll just kind of go OK to these little warnings. Same thing will happen if you do that in uh, Microsoft Excel. So um, I forgot to give it a name, so it's probably untitled. Let's just call it uh, numbers. So I'm going to go back in here and now back in InDesign, we're going to go to Window, we're going to go to Utilities, and go to Data Merge. Click the little hamburger menu here and select Data Source. And we're going to select the data that we just created, the CSV file. And you can see this will show you all the columns in your data set. In this case, there was just one column with the heading of Number. So I'm going to use my text tool, and I'm going to just select this data set here. I'm going to change the size a little bit, a little bigger, and then I'm going to give it a uh, Helvetica font. So it's bold. And then I'm going to place this right up here next to my order number. Okay, and I'm going to drag this over because I don't want my text box too big. And you can see the little uh, double chevron on each side is just an indicator that it is a record here of variable data coming from this data merge. So if I click preview, you can see here it gives me my 0001. And if I just scroll through here, the number changes for each record. And if I go all the way to the end, this is uh, record 500. So now this is ready to uh, either export as a PDF or I can create a merge document. So I click the hamburger menu again. If you go to create merge document, it'll give you a 500 page InDesign file, which it's not really necessary with this is all ready to go so we're just going to create a uh, or export to a PDF from this so I'm gonna click there export to PDF I want all records in this case you can change some of these settings but I want all the records to to uh, print out so I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna use my regular press quality PDF setting and click export and I'll give it a name which I'm just gonna use the same name from the InDesign file and I'll click Save and you can see very quickly it goes through and it uh, is going to create the actual PDF for me. This uh, warning menu here shows that there's no overset text. If there was, if you had data that went past this point, it would show up right here and tell you there was overset text. In this case, there isn't, so everything's good. After I click OK, it opens up the PDF. You can see it's a 500 page PDF file. And if I scroll through here, you have 001, 2, 3, 4, etc all the way until I get to the end here at record 0500 so this is ready now to send to a uh, printer if you're gonna print this on a digital press you probably send it over to your fiery server and print it there um, one thing to keep in mind 
if I go up into my uh, printer uh, print dialog here, if you're printing a two-part NCR form, you need two copies. And if you're printing a three-part NCR form, you're going to need three copies. And you need to make sure that this is set to uh, be uncollated. Because if you have it uh, collated, it's going to go ahead and print 500 uh, or two copies of pages 1 to 500 and then come back and do it again. And now your sequencing is going to be all out of order for your uh, pages. Basically, you want two copies of page of record one, two copies of record two, two copies of record three in that sequence so that you have um, a white and canary version, or if it's three part, a white, canary, and pink version of your actual form that you fill out. So just keep that in mind, and that's true whether you're using the embedded print dialog from within uh, Adobe Acrobat or if you send this over to a Fiery server as well. So very quickly, that's how to do it in InDesign. Uh, after you're done with this, you actually don't even need to save this. You can just get rid of the file, and then you have your um, PDF to print from here. Uh, so that's that's very quickly how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to stop the video here, but uh, I'm going to have a follow-up video on how to create this with uh, same thing using Fiery Freeform Create. Uh, very quickly, if you've ever created a variable data form uh, or variable data PDF that you need to send to a Fiery server. If you have a lot of uh, uh, graphics, a lot of pictures, uh, maybe it's a vector file that has a big pattern in the background or something like that. If you have you know several hundred or several several thousand records that you need to print, and it's uh, fairly image intensive. It can take a very, very long time to rip all of those pages. In this case, it's going to go very quickly because even though it's 500 pages, there's very little information that's on this page. So when you send it to the uh, Fiery server and you rip it, it's going to rip fairly quickly. However, if it's a big file, like I said, it could take, you know, sometimes even up to a half hour or sometimes even up to an hour to process all of that data. So using masters and the... Uh, uh, a fiery free form I'll show you a quicker way to do that but that's going to be in a follow-up video and that's going to be for members only so um, if you want to see that information please become a channel member um, it's only a couple bucks a month not very much to ask I try to post as as often as I can if you have specific questions you can always post them to me there and uh, I will be happy to do videos for any channel members if they have something in particular that they want to see. If you just want to support the channel um, in other ways, you can either leave a super thanks below uh, or you can join my Patreon. I have a paid Patreon tier and a free Patreon tier and I'm going to eventually put some items up for purchase in the shop over there. Some different things like uh, uh, Pantone color swatches that you can download and, and print and some other things that I haven't really thought too much of it yet but I, I'm trying to grow uh, the Patreon site as much as possible so I'll have a link down in the, the description of this video if you're interested please join me over there if you have any questions at all please leave them down in the comments I hope that somebody finds this video uh, useful and if uh, if so please hit that uh, notification bell please hit this subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will catch you on the next one thanks folks